Is it possible to manifest a vacation? I don't know, but we're gonna find out today, okay? Welcome to my channel, you guys. It's your girl, Post Tay Taylor. Y'all know my name already. But welcome to my channel if this is your first time. Hopefully you consider subscribing and joining the family. Grab yourself a plate, okay? I'd be happy to have you. We have a lot of fun over here, okay? So, like I said, today we're trying to manifest a vacation. I don't know about you, but we are in a recession. There is a lot of inflation, okay? And I don't know, life, life been whooping my ass lately okay so to have a little joy in my life i want to try to like manifest things um i'm always gonna pray um faith without action is dead so i'm always gonna be walking in the direction of where i want to go but right now the funds are looking kind of low so we can only manifest a vacation so we went through <laughs> our closet and i'm going to be putting together some vacation looks for you guys look whether you're going on vacation right now and just need some inspiration or whether you're like me and wish you could go on vacation but you're just not able to finesse and make that happen right now, this is the video for you. We're putting good vibes out there for people that are getting ready to travel and we're also putting vibes out there for the people that want to travel. And you will soon, okay? Listen to me, mark my words. We're getting on that flight. Just, just book the flight, put it on a credit card. Okay, no, 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 okay, don't put yourself in debt, okay? But, um, yeah, positive vibes. So, um, I have a few different looks for you guys today. I wanted to kind of go through different things because the way I pack, I pack for situations. I used to just put a whole bunch of stuff in my luggage. I don't do that anymore. As I've gotten older, the Virgo in me has taken over and I'm over prepared for everything. I bring a steamer with me, I bring scissors with me, I bring everything with me. But the way I like to pack, I like to pack for like what I'm doing. So we have some dinner ideas, we have some ideas for the beach, we have some ideas for the pool, we have some ideas for sexy dinners. Like there's dinners and then there's sexy dinners, okay? Because um, I've never been on a solo vacation. I've traveled by myself a lot throughout my life. But I've never been on a solo tropical like vacation at a sexy location without, you know, somebody. Okay? Well, I guess that's the point of solo. Let me rephrase that. I have never been to like a sexy location um, for solo travel. Okay? So the way that I am thinking, if we're manifesting, God's not gonna send me to a romantic location without a man, right? Man manifesting, man. There's no manifesting without the man in this scenario, right? So, <laughs> so I brought some like sexy dinner outfits too, in case you know I'm on I'm on a beach on a candlelit dinner or at a candlelit dinner with my you know sexy boo, my love interest in this in this movie. And um, I also have some accessories, and I also have some day party ideas. So like I said, if you guys are interested in that and manifesting a vacation, stay tuned. But you know what? I always do this to myself. I might as well just start off with the look that I have on currently. So you guys, let's get into this dress, okay? Let's talk about it. Talk about it, okay? So this dress, believe it or not, I've had for over 10 years. I purchased it at Urban Outfitters. I'll never forget. I. I bought it at the Urban Outfitters location, I want to say maybe in time, like in that like Herald Square area of New York. You know, I, I, I'm a native New Yorker, so, you know, going back to New York now as an adult and like traveling and stuff, I just would let myself get lost and go to all the parts that I couldn't really go to like when I was young. So um, I went to Herald Square and I wandered upon Urban Outfitters and I bought this dress. And at the time I was going through a phase where everything I bought for myself, I bought for my best friend as well. So I also bought her this same dress 10 years ago in black. And I wonder if she still has it. She probably doesn't because she's lost a lot of weight since then. But anyway, this dress was $39.99 
It was originally $138. It kept getting marked down, 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 down until a PYT like me bought it, okay? And I absolutely love this dress, but I'm gonna tell you why it still has the tags on it. It still has the tags on it because it's so gorgeous, but look at the way that it is. It's completely see-through with crochet. And then on um, look at the back, like the way that the dress is cut. I did not want to make it look tacky by wearing the wrong underwear with it. Every nude piece of underwear I would find would, you know, it, it wouldn't fall down this low. And then I tried the pasties, but I hate that like shiny look. That's why I never wear stuff that like shows my nipples. And if I do, I just like let it go and wear a bra or something like a cute strapless bra with it because I hate the shiny look when you wear like the, like the pasties and the chicken cutlets and stuff. I actually have on pasties right now. Um, and I decided to do that because I'm like, it's not bothering me that much. But let's be real, if I'm at a resort and there's no kids there, nine times out of 10, I'm just gonna wear this without a bra. Who was blowing me up? My phone, let me put it on vibrate. Okay. Um, nine times out of 10, I'm, I'm, per, I'm like, totally fine going commando unless commando just applies to like your panties i will not i i wear panties i actually have on some panties right now um they are like a nude mesh uh underwear that i got from victoria's secret which i totally recommend by the way especially when you're wearing these see-through looks because some people are totally fine like not wearing underwear but me personally I just don't like the feeling of not wearing underwear. I feel like I get sweaty a lot faster and stuff. I just don't really care for it. So um, I like to wear underwear, um, and I and like I that's for that reason I purchased nude underwear. So I do have on underwear with this, and you know I'm totally fine with that. And I love the way it looks. It looks like I'm not wearing any underwear, but I still wish that I could find um, a better alternative to. Um, these pasties because again like I said I don't really like the shiny look and um, if I don't find anything I hope eventually on my next vacation that we're manifesting I can wear this and if I don't find anything I'm just gonna not wear a top and just have the titties out okay <sighs> yeah obviously you know I can't this dress was purchased so long ago I won't be able to link it down below for you guys but I absolutely love this dress it's definitely tall girl friendly I just think it's so gorgeous, like so beautiful, and I'm kind of annoyed that I've never worn it, okay? But let's get into the next outfit look. And also, let's say, where would I wear this? I do think that I would probably wear this to dinner, um, because if I'm going to be showing so much, I think I could get away with a lot more um, at, at nighttime. No? Do you guys agree? But, um... Where else could I probably wear this? I can see it as a beach cover up, but it's just so pretty. I, I need it to have a moment by itself. Like, I don't want it. I, I'm not where I don't want to wear this as a beach cover up. Um, I could also do a day party, like a, a beach cabana or, you know, like, I don't know. Now, a dinner, dinner. This is for me, dinner. Okay, next look. Okay, you guys, let's get into this second look. So, um, over the years, I've purchased a few items from JLux label. I will admit, I don't really have a ton of their items because not everything fits me super well. But, I do have a few items, this included, um, that I purchased from JLux label. I also have one more item that I do want to probably show you in this video. But we're going to try it on again. I haven't tried it on in a while, so I need to see if it still fits. But um, this this set is from JLux Label, and I got it on sale, you guys. I don't know if it's still available, but y'all know I have an obsession with chocolate brown. I think brown, specifically chocolate brown, looks so good on brown skin women. Uh, every shade of brown, because I feel like as the darker you get, it looks more like a nude color. And I love, 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 love that. I just, like I said, I love chocolate brown on any shade of brown skin. So me, I wear chocolate brown all year round. This is not necessarily a summer color, but it is for me. If it's a summer outfit, what, who, what difference does it make, okay? So this is completely mesh. 
but the bodysuit it is two pieces as well I don't know if you guys can see it's two pieces um, it is a thong as you guys did see so I really like that you know what's so crazy again we're shopping our closet so none of this um, stuff was purchased new specifically to do this video none of this stuff was gifted from any companies for this video I literally shopped my closet and looked at what I already had and could come up with as if I'm getting ready to go on a vacation tomorrow so I wore this for the first time last September me and my best friend we went to Tulum for our birthdays my birthday is September 4th her birthday is September 9th so we went on a vacation for her birthday um, and that's what she came to visit she came to Austin to visit me as my birthday gift and I went to Tulum with her for her birthday as like to celebrate her birthday and I wore this for the first time we went to this um, beach what are you, beach club I feel like that's what you call these things called taboo and it was amazing you guys the food was so good the drinks were amazing the service was amazing but you guys I got all the way there and I realized I didn't have my bathing suit with me and I was so pissed because I wanted to go to the beach so bad like it was so beautiful and I was like you know what good thing I'm wearing this bodysuit so yeah I took off this skirt and I got in the water with this bodysuit and I had my buns out and didn't care at all and I loved that so me personally I would 9 out of 10 recommend this if they sell this in different colors I would even consider buying it in different colors but I'm just so happy with the chocolate brown and the price that I paid that you know if I couldn't get this again I'm totally fine with it so what I like about this oh and I do want to mention if I hadn't already I did purchase this in a size small so and y'all know I'm not a size small I'm a thick tink the looks are deceiving but I'm every bit of 5'5 five five and about 170 72 pounds okay so I'm not a small thing but I wanted this to fit like snug so I, I went and sized down to a small and I'm very happy that I did because this is mesh it stretches a lot and you know that it's still not too small because you can still see all of the ruching like perfectly and I, I just love the way that the bodysuit fits so and like I like that it's a thong it would have been really great if it wasn't a thong though since because they have this um, as a set like yes these are separates but you know they were trying to sell it as a set that you could buy individually so it would be nice if this was just like a regular bodysuit because you know that would give me the option to wear this out to like the club or something as well instead of just like resort beach wear but it is what it is and like I said I don't remember what I paid for it but I remember that I was very happy with the price that I paid so definitely check this out I'm still gonna categorize this as a dinner outfit that's why I'm showing it to you right after another dinner outfit and um, I'm gonna show you a few more dinner outfits after this but I totally would wear this to dinner but like I said I did wear it during the day to that beach club and it really was a two-in-one I was not expecting it but I was so grateful that if I was gonna forget my bathing suit that I was wearing this because like I said this totally doubled as a bathing suit and a cover-up so check out JLux label you guys they definitely have some gems in there they are a little bit more expensive you know if you're used to shopping forever 21 pretty little thing Shein their prices are definitely up there but I will say a lot of the things that I do have the quality is like a lot better so I feel like that does justify the price and usually hopefully one day I get to work with JLux label but usually if you can get like an influencer promo code I always use Aaliyah's face promo code um, which I'm not really sure but I think it might be like Aaliyah 20 or something like that and I always get 20% off that way and I always feel happy because she's like one of my favorite influencers so you know if she can get a check I'm happy if I can get 20% off and Aaliyah can get a check I'm, I'm all for it so yeah let's get into the next thing let's get into the next item I actually feel like I should put on heels for this but oh, I have like the perfect angle right now I don't want to like ruin it um hold on see I hope I'm still in because if I have to adjust this camera um, okay well just just take a look right now okay and then I'm about to take the shoes off again okay we're taking the shoes back off but you guys 
this is another really cute vacation look but I'm just too thick for it right now and no matter what underwear you wear with this it's gonna give you the worst camel toe because like the way that the pants are made it like wants to go inward like so the whole thing like shifts inward and it makes like the worst camel toe but when I tell you this outfit when you're the right size and like can fit it perfectly like this is such a cute vacation outfit the last time I wore this was over a year ago I wore it last spring break um, on a trip to Miami with my um, my other best friend Aaliyah and this was so cute the pants are just so long though um, it's from a business I don't know if they're still in business uh, this clothing brand called want my look I got a few really great vacation pieces from them maybe like six years ago and um, this and like a really cool cover-up that I'm not gonna show you today though because it's just a little bit too lavish um, for what I'm trying to accomplish today. But um, they made some really cute stuff. They had really cute bikinis and things like that at the time. I don't know if they're still in business. I haven't shopped for them in years because they screwed me over with a return and they just like left a bad taste in my mouth. But when I bought this, I thought this was the cutest thing. And it's, you know, it's not the best quality, um, but as far as the design and the style, I've never seen anything like it and I love it so I do wish it fit me better I really needed probably a larger size in this or maybe not like I don't know maybe that's just how the pants are but I really think that I needed a larger size than this or to have a flatter stomach or something for this to fit better I don't know I'm trying to suck it in now and look but for the tall girls oh you would eat in this because this just makes you look so like long and lean and like I said the pants are so long they draped the ground and like every time I wore this though that is one negative thing like when I wore this like I washed this and it's still kind of dark at the bottom but I wore this in the nighttime so I'm like if you're looking that hard to find a flaw like you're just a hater because this is such a cute outfit but like I said, these pants are gonna dust the ground. I wore the highest heels that I have that are these huge platforms and they were still dusting the ground, okay? So, oh, and, I'm, and red, you guys, the color red is not a color I really have in my closet. I realized red and pink are just colors I do not wear. So um, I think at the time, even though this was six years ago, I knew that about myself, that I never really wore red items. So I took an opportunity to buy this in red specifically because I think at the time they had like blue and like black. And I was like, no, I'm going for the red. And I absolutely just, I love it. I just wish I was a little bit smaller. A good five pounds or so would really do this outfit justice. But I still wanted to show you guys because I think it's a really great vacation look. little 360 did I show you guys it in its entirety it's just so cute and it has like a faux pocket you see it right there very cute y'all I have to come back really quick because look at this gorgeous hat that I found in my closet you guys I bought this um let's see when I bought this I bought this in 2015 I've never worn it and it is the cutest thing oh my gosh like I'm, I'm, I don't really care for it right now because my hair is dark and this is black and it's kind of blending in. But if this was a different color or my hair was a different color, like this would totally eat. Like this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Like look at the back, you guys. Look at this bow. And I don't, I don't think I like the bow in the front. I like to wear, if there's ever a bow, I usually like to wear it to the side or, you know, to the back. But you guys, this is so adorable. Could it eat with this look? Nick, can you see that happening? Like if you wore this during the day? I'm gonna try wearing this to the pool one day. And um, I got this from Forever 20, no. You guguys, I got this from H&M. It is a size large, cause I have a big head. But this is so eating with this hairstyle. It's like giving so princess. Okay. We're moving on to the next look now. I just wanted to show you guys this because unfortunately, none of the outfits I have, um, I would wear this with, but it's just still worth, it's giving vacation vibes. Okay, you guys, we're coming back with another dinner look. I feel like you could wear this during the day, but I see myself just like something a little bit more formal of an event. So I'm going for dinner. 
and this is from Fashion Nova. Y'all, it wouldn't be any vacation, like, whatsoever without something from Fashion Nova. Like, where where else do you go? I mean, pretty little thing. Um, is it Princess Polly or O Polly? I've never shopped there, but I've always, it's something with a Polly. Um, where else? Boohoo, Misguided. If you don't have anything from them for your, like, vacation, you're not doing it right. Because, like... I don't care. Like, that's where you can get stuff for the Lolo. Cute vacation items for the Lolo. So this um, I've had for at least two years now. Um, the last time I wore this, I wore this to a steakhouse dinner. Like I said, everything is from our closet. We did not buy anything new for this haul. Um, yeah, uh, it's either, even if it has the tags on it, I've had it before, like well before I even thought about doing this video. But this I absolutely love. The only caveat about it is like, I feel like for me and my body type, I have to like wear the skirt super high waisted um, because that's the only way I get like an hourglass figure because if I try to wear it low, it does like a muffin top thing. But I mean, it's a bandage material and it's super cute. I love the color orange. I think it's very flattering. I love the neckline of this. I love how it looks in the back. It's very well made, I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, don't get fooled by the fact that it's Fashion Nova. You can get really expensive pieces from Saks, Bergdorf, Goodman, Neiman Marcus, that falls apart, okay? So the fact that this, I mean, it just feels so sturdy, so solid, and it was very affordable, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's like, you can get good quality pieces whether you paid a lot of money or a little bit of money. And you can also get horrible quality pieces whether you paid a lot of money or a little money. So um, I really, really love this item. And I think that it goes well beyond vacation. Like I said, the last time I wore this, I wore it to a steakhouse dinner and I just thought it was such a vibe. And I think because of the color and the fact that, um, you know, it's not, it's not covering up too much, I think I can get away with wearing it on vacation. So let me know what you guys think, but I absolutely love this. I can't wait to have another opportunity. To wear this so this i'm gonna also add to a dinner option but i don't really care for this item um you may have seen this item before i did a forever 21 haul um maybe maybe september or october of last year um i think or was it the summer sometime last year and i bought this from forever 21 i actually got it for free it was like a buy one get one free special they had so i just grabbed something because I thought this was cute, but I don't like it. And can you wonder why? Can you guess? See, I don't like it because of the lining. I don't know if you guys can see or if it comes across on the camera, but the lining that they have here, they stopped it here. They should have just either not had the lining or made the entire dress double lined because I hate the way that this looks. It looks like I'm wearing shapewear. And I, I just don't like that, that crease there like that. But um, other than that, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, I do think this dress would look a lot better on somebody who had more cleavage. But I was just like, look, whatever. I'm, I work with what I got, okay? Um, it is a really cute dress. They had it in orange as well. And at the time, it was so affordable. Like, it was, like, marked down so low. Like, it was, like, $9. So they were trying to give it away. It was, like, buy, like I said, I got to buy one, get one free. So I... It was free with another item that I got was like, that was also maybe $9. And, um, you know, it fits pretty well considering that, you know, I have a very curvy body type and I just got this straight off the rack. Like no alterations to this have been made. Um, it's a, it's actually a really nice material. It almost feels like a suede type of, maybe it's like viscose. I'm not sure. But I really like it. I, I actually do wish that um, they had it in my size at the time in an in orange because I did like the orange a lot. But I don't really have pink and um, pink's, not, pink's not really one of my favorite colors. Like in my closet, I probably have maybe 10 items that are pink. But I'm trying to incorporate more pink. But yeah, the reason why I have not worn this, it's because of that double lining here. It's not because of like the lack of cleavage or, or just how much cleavage would be showing. It's not, that's not the reason. It's literally because I don't like the way that this looks. I think that they should have 
either double line the dress or just not did any lining at all. That's my personal opinion. But it's still really cute and I'll do a little 360 for you guys. And how would we style this, you guys? Like, how would we style this? I think a cute bag, some, you know, dainty heels, and I don't know, I'm thinking more dangly earrings, you know? I don't know if I would do silver or gold, but maybe I would do silver. Yeah, right. I think I would do silver jewelry with this. But super cute, and again, really cute with a haircut. After, after I sat up there and told you guys how I don't like the color pink and I don't have a ton of pink, look at this. We also have this, this dress. I got this from Fashion Nova years ago. I've only worn it once. The first time and the last time I wore it was for my birthday last year. I had a little brunch and um, I wore this. I forgot what restaurant. Oh, this restaurant called Colleen's. If you're in the Austin area, it's in Mueller and they have a really great soul food. It was like, it was really, really good. I was surprised, but it was really, really good. And um, I wore this to my brunch that I had with a few of my girlfriends and it was a hit. It's so neon. I don't know if it's coming across in the video as neon as it is, but it's so neon. It's giving very much 80s. It fits really well. I love these kind of side cutout slits here. They're really cute and sexy, but it's not doing too much. Like it's not like provocative and like vulgar. And I really, really like that. I forgot what shoes I wore with it, but I remember what I wore on my eyes. I had a, um, I borrowed my best friend's eyeshadow palette and I put pink on my lid and like purple eyeshadow in my crease and everybody loved it. So if you wear color, you can also like, you don't, don't think that because you wear color, you have to go really neutral with your makeup. You can go bold with your makeup and bold with your outfit and it, it can still be received really well, you know? I mean, obviously it only matters what you think, um, but I really liked it and I would encourage you to try it. So. How do we feel about this? I like it. Mm -mm. There go my fine ass neighbor. Sorry, I'm looking out the window. <laughs> Y'all, my neighbor is so fine. Oh my gosh. And he's like the nicest, sweetest man ever. He's always outside walking his dog. And he has a Jeep just like I do. He's so handsome. But anyway, um, yeah, let's move on to the next outfit. Y'all, I feel like I need to break this video up. We need to have to do a part one, two, and three because this video is getting so long. I might have to just break this up into dinner and then day looks and then beach outfits because this video is too long and I know y'all, y'all have a short attention span. Y'all not gonna sit here and watch an hour long video of me trying on clothes. So we might have to break it up. <laughs> if this is not the sexiest like i i love this dress i love how it's just so it's just showing so much but it, despite it literally showing so much i feel like it still has an elegance about it let me know what you guys think in the comments but i love this dress like i just think it's so cool it was on sale for nine dollars you guys nine dollars they had it in red and green as well, and I didn't buy it in red and green, and I so regret it. I got this dress almost two years ago, I believe. At least a year and a half ago. And, oh, I love this dress. I really wish I did buy it in red and green. It's probably sold out by now, but if I can find it, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> because it, it looks so good in black. I'm at least glad that I bought black because I have a feeling that this is probably the best color out of all of them. It just gives it just it just gives me glare vibes like it does and I think that this fits me to perfection with the right heels like oh oh gold accessories like a cute designer clutch oh, this would this is gonna eat so bad it's gonna eat so hard oh my gosh like I wish I had somewhere to wear this too Oh my gosh, can you think about the pictures in this? Um, for $9? Even if this was $100, like, I, I wish, I wish you guys could see the quality, like, the fabric is thick, it's, it's nice, like, it's really great quality, you guys. I was so surprised, like, my jaw, when I opened up the package and saw this, I was like, my jaw to the floor. See, when you shop the, um, 
the sales section of Fashion Nova, it really can be a hit or miss. You never know what you're gonna get like there are some items that I'm like oh my god I'm literally looking over here because I need to do another video on all the stuff that I got from Fashion Nova on sale but it can be such a hit or miss like ah oh, there are so many items I purchased that I wish I could just send back in the mail and get my money back but because it was final sale I can't even get a store credit for it right and you're you already know Fashion Nova doesn't give you money back you can only get a store credit and then there are items like this where I'm just like, I cannot believe, like I'm the luckiest girl in the world. I cannot believe that I got this for this price and it looks so amazing. I don't know, I look, you can have bigger breasts than me. You can have more chocolatey, luscious skin than me. You can be thicker than me or whatever. But this dress, I just feel like it looks so good on me. I don't, I don't know who could do it better than me. I feel like this dress is just made for me like it's made for my little titties it's made for my little curvy body my little my little fupa like I just feel like a million bucks in this dress and I cannot wait to have a reason to wear this dress oh you guys feast your eyes okay okay I've done enough talking let's move into the next thing oh the next thing is gonna be the last thing for this video because I do think that this is getting too long and I have to break it up. But just know that this last item, I personally feel that I can wear it during the day and at night. But I'm gonna wear it at night for dinner for the purposes of this video. So let's get into that. This is the final item. I decided to like actually show you guys like a, a bag and a shoe with it. So these shoes are so cute. Hold on, let me get a little bit closer. <laughs> These shoes are so cute. I got them from H&M. Um, how much were they? They were $35. I got them a few weeks ago. Maybe in my back of my mind I was manifesting a vacation then. I don't know. But I just thought they gave such summer vibes. They kind of have that like rattan kind of corkscrew look. So cute. And I'm wearing this bag that I got from Cult Gaia. Don't worry, you can find like a really great dupe of this like on Amazon or something. But even then, it wasn't like super unaffordable. It was like $100. Um, I mean, it's bamboo though, so it's not like, hmm. I probably wouldn't, if I bought this on Amazon and you look for something similar, don't pay more than maybe like $25 for this, okay? Listen to your Auntie Taylor. But this dress is from jlux label i've never worn it because like i ripped it a little bit trying it on but it's not super noticeable at all and i don't know sometimes i feel like this like puts my fupa on display and i wish i i should have returned it but i just love the color so much that i decided to keep it and wanted to like work with it so when i'm having like a flat tummy day i'll definitely try to reach for this um dress but let me take off the shoes so I'm back in the frame because like I said, I already positioned the camera for what I'm like my natural height. But yeah, um, I think that, you know, you could wear like a really colorful bag with this. I also have this other type of bag. Like I could do this, which is really cute. Like another little, you see how I, again, you see how this could be like a day or nighttime look. So I'm like, you could wear this to dinner or you can wear this during the day. So um, I have this bag that I got from Marshalls a long time ago. Really like it. And then um, I could even do a clutch. This is kind of like a straw material, super cute and a gold chain. That could be cute with some white heels instead. Or I could do this really cute wristlet that I got from Lord and Taylor so long ago. It says, uh, sun's out, bun's out. So cute, right? But um, yeah, but I definitely like this dress. I probably should have bought it in like maybe black or something instead, but I just love, I don't have like a ton of color. So I bought this in color. I don't necessarily regret it, but I do think it would have been more flattering in another color, but let me know what you guys think in the comments, okay? So that's gonna be the end of this video. You guys stay tuned for part two and three because like I said, I have to break it down into day looks and um, swimwear because this long, this video, this video is gonna get out of control. It's gonna be too long. Um, ooh, I should even do a video on my favorite like summertime scents. 
oh there's so much cool summer content okay and you know we're we're growing the channel we're almost at a thousand subscribers and we're starting to get like some you know some people come in and and offer us some merchandise and like some um, brands wanting to collaborate with us and work with us which I mean us I mean you and me right and I am um, I'm really excited about that so be on the lookout for those videos and some future haul videos okay so let me know in the comments what you liked what you would cop and I'll see you in the next one okay bye I'm that same old body with the skis In the bed top fit, got a shark on the hood of my top and the ape of my teeth Been a minute since I linked with the bro, said link up soon, let's talk over tea These days it's all about flex and talk, but I'm born trying to make this pee I got a text from the bro in Cali telling me, sit tight, gonna make me a beat In a guy for the stylish babe on a stylish date, trying to make me a treat Trying to talk about rovers, it's over, I'm trying to bag the stream Two sets, let me take this core, got a ski room